Well, the 1990 Premiership, no doubt, was the greatest moment in my football career, and uh, hopefully I can do it again. Um, I think prior to the game, you know, our players were really still in mind to what they wanted to achieve. And I, I didn't really believe that we were going to be beaten on the day. I'd been involved in two losing premierships prior to this, but uh, I really believe we had a good side, we were fit and we were strong. And also the Essendon had problems once we played in the draw against the West Coast. They hadn't played footy for two weeks and uh, we believe they might have been a bit underdone. And also they had a few injuries to top players as in Timmy Watson and Simon Madden. So we thought we were on, online to win a premiership and that's the way it occurred. It was a fantastic moment for myself and the club and for 19 other players who now, I think, to me, are like brothers. He need not even pick it. The draft is over. I've been asked a few times what happened when Timmy Watson came up to me after the final siren of the 1990 Premiership. And what had happened was that Timmy came up and just congratulated me on the win. I think he'd realised that uh, I'd been involved in a lot of losing grand finals. He had played in winning grand finals and knew the feeling of uh, being involved in those sort of games. Um, I'd been involved with Timmy off the field and on for over probably 12 years. I'd found him to be a fantastic player, but I also had found him to be a person who had great sportsmanship. And uh, I really thank him for that time. It was a, a moment which I look back to on the replays and uh, really feel a bit of, uh, what can I say, sportsmanship too, because it was just part of football. And uh, to Timmy, I should think he should be congratulated for that sort of effort. Great effort by Watson there, giving embrace of Tony Shaw. And now Tony yeah. Shaw... What is Lee Matthews like as a coach and a person? Well, I think there is a little bit of difference there. As a coach, he uh, gains a lot of respect because of the way he played the game himself. I think one thing he's brought to the Collingwood Football Club is a new dimension to professionalism. His preparation before games is just unbelievable. Uh, there's no doubt he brought a little bit of Hawthorne with him. And mainly, I think the players just perform because they have great respect for the person as a player. Off the field, well, Lee again, is just a quiet sort of person. He doesn't um, show a lot of emotion. But one thing he does, he again gains respect to people by the way he conducts himself off the field. And I think that's what a coach's ploy is. He has to sort of uh, conduct himself off the field and on the field so that players can see him and gain the respect they need to have a good coach. There's Tony, Ford, Tony Shaw mouthing off. Well, there's no doubt I've got a big mouth on the football field, but I think there's two ways that it can work for me. Normally I believe if I'm yapping up, I'm getting involved in the game, and physically I then do follow too with my body. Sometimes I find when I'm very quiet on the field that physically I don't get involved in the game also. Again also there's constructive talking to my teammates, which I think every footballer should have, and most professional footballers at this level do talk very well on the football field, even if they are quiet off. So they're the main two areas of my talking, and I believe it's one thing that I has helped me gain a lot more possessions on the footy field and has helped me improve as a player. But only as far as Tony Shaw and I think he may have threaded it through. Well there's no doubt when the time comes for me to retire that I do want to go on with coaching if possible. At what level I don't know. Um, I do love the involvement of the game and I'm sure that I'll miss that. Uh, there's other areas I want to improve. I've got a young family who I'd like to spend a bit more time with. Um, whether they want to play sport or do anything different it doesn't worry me but just the time involvement is very important. And also my career off the field. I, uh, I would like to uh, be successful off the field. So I've got a few areas. And probably last but not least, I'd love to get my golf handicap down.